Hello everybody and welcome to another Dino Core review. I say Dino Core, this is the Chinese version of Dino Core. Now after speaking with fellow fans, we believe this could well be a licensed product just re-released in China under another name because the quality on these are sublime and they are nigh on perfect to the original and we even have the exact same sayings the same sound chips but done in chinese as opposed to korean so uh, i think it could be like the whole car bot thing where they've been re-released to a different market now i'm going to be covering all of the season two mechs that i have uh, we'll be starting off here with the ultra d saber serato set uh, where we have our core we have our legs, uh, we have our additional upgrade section here, we have our discs that we insert, and then we have our attackers at the back there, and we also get the helmet upgrade for our core figure as well. First of all, let's look at Serato, who is the core member of the set. Really nice figure, very uh, similar to the T-Rex in appearance. Of course, this forms the torso. We have two times AA batteries on the inside there, and this is where we slide in our disc. Uh, we have three discs. We have kind of like the fully combined mode. We have uh, the kind of souped up power mode, and then we have the standard disc. So let's uh, insert the disc and... There we go. Rolls really nicely, really solid pieces. Uh, the helmet section that we get with him. Again, it's a pretty nice looking helmet. The faceplate will flip down. These panels at the back here will come outwards. Pretty decent. And we get two attackers with this set. We get Mammoth in his little tiny form there. Unfortunately, these versions don't shoot. They just have the standard arm peg. In season one, they fired projectiles, and season two, they don't. But it's a nice little version. And again, with the difference between season two and season one, season one was a pullback. This is kind of a rev motor. So you just push, 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 and the faster you push it, the faster they will go. We get a try attacker as well. Now again, like season one, every attacker piece that we get, we also get in a core form. Now I do not have the core version of Tri. I do have the core version of Mammoth, which I'll cover shortly. But yeah, I don't have the core version of Tri, unfortunately. He's still on my to get list, uh, which obviously then means not having the core version of Tri means I do not have an attacker version of Sarah either. Uh, it's just how it goes. Generally, you switch and change. Now, this set has come with a Demetrodon as well. Really big, solid figure. Again, he's got his little face visible there. So this can be used as a helmet. Got the tail. Got these stumpy little legs here. But we also get an additional bonus. We can bring his spike section off and this is actually going to open up and this will form a small bird which is a uh, nice very much reminds me of something from kind of power rangers there as well so we get a nice little added bonus of course we do then lose the spikes on the top but uh, i'm okay with that and this time around in season two as opposed to uh Brachiosaurus, we get a massive Plesio. Look at that. This works so much better, in my opinion, than the Brachiosaurus. So we've got articulation here, we've got the fins that can move, we've got lots and lots of range on that neck. Way, way better. And again, we've got articulation on the tail, albeit uh, that one does tend to pop off, and we get those fins at the back as well. We are definitely, definitely preferring 
the Plesiosaurus as opposed to the Brachiosaurus. I think it's definitely a better use of that mold. Now to get him transformed up in his first stage, we just want to remove this section again, unlike the Brachiosaurus, uh, where you had to push in and slide, this is just a straight large tab, which definitely works better, in my opinion. Uh, this section here just comes off as well. We want to bring these up to the side, bring this up to the side. He's going to come down and across. This is going to lift up, it comes down, split these legs, and then bring these toes outwards like so. And then split the neck just below this joint. Attach the arm again if it pops off. Bring in what was the tail. And again, that's going to come down. That'll attach. And using these arm spike sections, those are going to form the arms on both sides. Bring in our torso piece, remove the helmet, we're going to remove the disc, we're going to rotate the waist, bring this around, let's put the disc in first, awesome, let's put the head up, head reveal there. Helmet goes on top, slide this in. Bring that around and then bring the arms on to either side. Like so. And here we have him fully combined up into his first form love the vibrance of these colors. Uh, these really remind me very much of Dino Charge figures from Power Rangers, but at the same time, they are unique enough to be their own thing. I would like just to apologize for the noise outside. They're deciding to cut all of the grass outside and do maintenance across the road, all on the day that I'm trying to review my products. So uh, that's with the window closed. That's how close it is to our house. But yes, this guy looks very vibrant. Love that contrast of blue with the blacks and golds and then those big piercing blue eyes, almost kind of RPM-ish on the side of those beasts. Our next port of action is to bring in our additional arm piece. We can just extend that arm, bring the feet up to the sides like so, and bring that up. This is gonna replace this arm here. So we're gonna take this section off, bring this piece on. Just pop that on like so, remove the helmet, and we're gonna replace on that new upgraded helmet, like so. That's a fairly decent upgrade. Uh, the idea is then we can uh, have this piece like so, and that's designed to just tab on to this section up here. So we can just plug that in, like so. And there we have that attached. That's not my favorite look for him. Personally, I do like everything kind of being displayed on him. So uh, let's take him up to his third and final mode. So we want to remove the arm, like so, bring this section down. He wants to split, like so. These are both now going to form fists, bring in our arm pieces. These are gonna come down, like so. And they do have a peg on there as well, so we can attach them at any of those ports like the leg mode etc just so we can make like a battle station and a battle mode that sort of thing is now possible right let's just place that in like this this is then going to come up and tab in same with our mammoth bring this tab down attach like so bring that up 
and attach. We're going to bring in our new dyno head, bring down that faceplate and attach like so. We're then going to rotate the waist around like so. Bring down these feet. They're going to extend and push and tab in at the back of the leg. Like so. Extend, bring down, push and tab in at the rear. And then we're gonna bring in our dyno. Same with the other side, attach leg pieces. I believe the toes are now designed to go upwards like this and upwards like this. Now we get an option for the bird section, personally. Uh, I like the second of the two options, but they show it attaching to the tabs and coming on here. I like to add him as groin armor. So we place that on like so, and bring that down like this. And of course, being his third mode, we can now place his third chip in. There we have him in his Ultra D Saber Serato mode. Uh, really do like how that version of him looks. Really contrasting colours. I believe it's probably Mammoth that sets this off the best with those really vibrant, uh, I don't know, is that like under the teal, I guess? Uh, really good looking figure though. But again, I stand by my decision that the uh, Plasiosaurus is a much better choice, in my opinion, for the feet section on this. It definitely works a lot, a lot better. And I just think the black and gold as well is a really good, clean look for the figure. Now for the second set I've got, I've got the Mammoth set. So we have a core version of Mammoth with his tusk. I really love how he looks. He is an awesome looking Dude, a really funky figure. One of my favorites, I think. And then we get the additional mammoth helmet to go on in his combined mode. And of course, we get the three discs. We get his uh, mammoth mode, and we get the kind of souped up mammoth. And then we get the super combined mode. So let's just put his mammoth disc in. Woohoo! <laughs> Attach the plesiosaur arms. I've done that in the wrong order. It doesn't matter which side you really put them. They both. Uh... <laughs> I did not. Did not know. It did that until uh, this point in time. Move the tail helmet, put that up and over his head, and then just slide this in. There we have him. <laughs> uh, that's him combined with the plesiosaur uh, again. I don't have the entire set for this guy. I don't have core try, but obviously I can kind of double this guy up with some of the other pieces that I have. We can combine him up with the Dermetrodon. Again, I mean, these are really well-balanced figures. They all have the same articulation. They all have ratcheted joints. Uh, you have to be careful when bringing these joints up and out to the sides because they do tend to pop off this socket here, but there is lots and lots of articulation on these. The waist does rotate nicely. Uh, to remove these sections from the torso, there's a lever here that you push, and that basically unlocks it, so you can then slide it back out. But we do have really nice leg motion on really good ratchets. Everything's really 
solid but again it definitely works it's a big solid piece and these are cracking value for money pieces and for those curious yes he is fully customizable with all of season one and all of season three as well they all interact now of course i don't have the complete setup for this guy but this is the closest we can get so let's install his final disc It's absolutely mad. I don't think any of the others make the same sort of sounds as him. He's the first one I've discovered that makes those sort of sounds. But there we go, season two. Uh, hoping to get a hold of those last couple of pieces just to com complete my lineup. Luckily, Sir Toys does also sell like the uh, Plesiosaurus and etc. Uh, separate, so you can kind of army build and build up what parts you need. Uh, if you haven't already checked out season one, I'll include a link in the description. I'm gonna start a playlist of these figures. These are really quite fun, and I'm having a great time with these at the moment. Uh, really solid, and I love the fact that my children can mess around with them, play with them, and not have a care in the world, because these are as robust as they come. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, for myself and the rest of the Collectibles household, uh, goodbye. <laughs>